What's your numerology? Hmm? <laughs> What's my numerology? What do you mean? What number your name or, or oh, my, I don't do it based no. on the sequence of numerology. I don't use man-made numerology. I use scriptural numerology, mm. which I will go into. That was actually the board I pulled up. Oh. Based on the Arabic language or the Persian or the Sanskrit or the, the scriptural, mm -hmm. not, not man-made. Hmm? He asked me what number my name added up to. And I said, I, I, my name does have a value, but I said, I don't use the numerology based on English, where we arbitrarily say A is 1, B is 2, C is 3. I say I use a different kind of numerology, not based on superstition or witchcraft or voodoo. The kind of super numerology I use is what I call quantum numerology. And where I learned that was studying on the name of God out of the different religions, out of the script, different scriptures, because the name of God was always sacred and so holy, and all the re major religions recorded all their knowledges, not with math, but with their alphabet, with their letters. Okay, I'll show you an example of that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Here's the Arabic alphabet. Here is the mathematical correspondent. For t, t is 9. For Z is 900. For, God, I can't even say, aim. Oh, that's the key letter right there. Um, is represented by that symbol there. We don't even have it in English. It's seven. Smaller than an aim is the Hamza. And that's actually the word of God. And that's actually the sound of the glottal stop. And that's actually the word that they're talking about, that created creation, stuff like that. Um, but that's religious mysticism. And, and we're, not, we're not ready for that yet. But that's the numerical system that I use that I found this Torah skin. Okay. So we'll come back to this stuff dealing with math. Okay. Math and letters and harmonics and sounds. Eventually where that will take that will we'll take it to the brain and our intelligence and brain waves and the stuff the grounds and meditation and worship and mantra and how to tap into the remaining potential of the brain and tap into the ninety percent potential unused part of the brain, and essentially how to become geniuses and psychic states and be able to do miracles and all that other stuff that is inherently latent potential within us that we should already be doing that we never fully realized yet. Yeah? Are you going to go into how um, you construct it, I mean, if you were going to construct one of these, how the numbers are related, that this magic is happening? I think so. Okay. I think you should know that. Okay. In other words, you want to know how these numbers make the coil. Well I, well, well, I see that 1, 2, 4, 8, 7, 5, if you started a blue 1, just any 1. Start a blue, blue one. 1. Blue 1, 1, 2, 4, 8, 7, 5. Right? 1, 2, 4, 8, 7, 5. five. That's, that's a sequence. If yep. you go next door to it, no, the other way, no, right next to it, the one, the red 1 right under that, there we go. If you go backwards, you're going in the negative reference. But that's not the 1. That no, matches that's that polar one. opposite. This is, but this is the pair. See, they're in a pair. See the dark black line? Because there this, has to be a space for the 693. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, okay. Okay. These are your pair in here. This is yeah, your binary yeah. triplet. So if you go like this. But, but also, the, the one next yeah, to that, at it the red one is, a, is just moving in, a, in, a, in an opposite direction. I mean, if you were just to construct this without any the, theoretical considerations, if you just said, I need to remember how to construct this, it seems, couldn't you just take that, say that blue one, you start with that blue one, no, no, the one that you started with before. Where right is it at? No, no. Yeah, yeah, that, one. That, that, one, that, that one. one. And if you, one, two, four, eight, seven, five, going up, right? Okay. One, two, four, eight, seven, five, right? Uh-huh. And if you started to the, the red one diagonally to the right, now, 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 there. And you went one, two, four, eight, seven, you get the same numbers, right? The pattern? You, you go one, two, four, eight, seven, five, only backwards, right? Okay, Charlie. You asked for <laughs> and, and your point is? Um, I'm just asking you, you know, I was asking you, if you, did, uh, you did not intend to construct it that way. And I don't know if it works out throughout the chart that way. But that's what I'm seeing right now. In other words, they're moving in opposite directions, but it's the same numbers, except separated by the, the mirror 693, 396, 693, 396. Over and over again, always. Right. The same Which pattern. Be that middle no matter what. Stand. That's right. Here's what we're looking at, right? This is our lattice, our matrix. Yeah. Okay. I'll show you when 
Yes, you can make it if you just know. In fact, if you just know three numbers, you know everything. Okay. Here's your um, 1, 2, 4, 8, 7, 5. That's the pattern that you saw? Okay. Um, and then you said... You'd make a red one right next to it. You have to make it red, though. Well, I'm going to okay. use And then you go pen. 1, 2. The 2 would be... Uh, up okay, but watch this. So we know it's... So right here we had a, a 5, a 7, an 8... A four, two, um, a one, yeah. a five. And that's how we make it, huh? Okay. Watch this. So, this is for everyone to understand. You want to make it by just knowing that pattern. But every single axis, remember our 3D that's underneath here that I just erased? Our 3D coordinate system, um, which is um, the toroid right here, which is explained in this bar. Remember I said the multiplication table? Remember I said it was XYZ? Here's our eight and ones this way, here's our four and fives this way. Okay, let me show you what I mean. I can make this whole thing by just knowing that, by looking at, um, oh, yeah. four or five, except, um, one, two, four, eight, seven, five, except the one, we actually did it backwards. Might as well do it right. It goes two, seven, two, seven. Let me do this right. I see. And this would have been one, two, four. This is a one, five, seven, eight, four, two, one. We had them going the reverse direction, didn't we? Yeah. Okay. So sure enough, any way you go, it will have to mean something. So we're going to look for the nine. Okay. We have the nine goes right here. And from any direction the nine, it's going to make the toroid skin. Why did you choose the nine right there? Because the nine's all, that's because I knew if we had two numbers here, seven, eight, the next number after it must be nine. Oh, I see. And this must be a one, yeah. and this must be a two, and this must be a six then, and this must be a five. Okay, right. So I got units of one, four, five, six. okay, six, seven, right. eight, right. okay. Three above that. Okay, but let's go the opposite direction. Let's say I just have a nine here, I have a five here, I have a one here. What must be over here? Uh, six, perfect. Okay, or let's say I have a four here, I have an eight here. What must be over here? Three. Exactly right. Okay. And uh, so not only can we figure that this must be a nine right here because it's two, one, nine, but we also know that it would be three, eight, four, nine. Okay. Because eight and four is three. Because five plus three is eight, eight plus five okay, is thirteen is four, and four plus five is nine. Right. Okay. Or we could have figured it that it was a 9 right here because of the fact that here we have a 7, 8, 9. And if we've gone 6, 9, if we have a 9, we know on the opposite side of a 9, if one side's a 6, it must be a 3 on the other side. So we had 6, 9, 3, and then 3, 9. So again, it would have been a 9. Yeah. So any way we approach it, we always know what the number's going to be. It's like the ultimate crossword puzzle with no spaces in it. Right. Everything matches. Right. Okay. It's a cross world. Six, nine, three, three, nine, six, six, nine, three, and this would have been three, nine, six, six, nine, three, and we would have had nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, and now we got this pattern again. So it's six, nine, three, three, nine, six, and we got seven, five, one, two, four, eight, and we can go two, three, four, five, six. We can actually count all the way over to here. Two, one, nine, eight, seven, six. And now we got two, three, four, five, six. So now we can go diagonally. We got eight, four, two, one, five, seven. Or we could have gone, um, is that right? Um, five, one, six. Let's just fill them all in. One, two, four, eight, seven. So we got, or we can go this way. Four, eight, three, four, eight, seven, five, seven, eight, six, and no, can't be three sixes in a row. Eight, seven, six, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, three. Like there's less fours. No, there's no less fours. Doesn't it look like that though no. when you just look at it? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a door checker here, frisk you for fours. <laughs> you know what you do for visual is to, you know how you, you do like car by numbers? 
You could just put a car for each of those numbers. Yeah, that's where programming for computers yeah. and animation would be. Because it would be a lot easier in the eyes, too. Well, but there's another reason why I did this way. You see that. Yes, Charlie? And any two diagonals add up to either 7 or 2. Now, I don't know the significance of that. 9, 7, or 16 is 1 and 7. If you start with any... All of those mean something. 2, 7, 2, 7, 2, 7. That's a new polarity. Yeah. Right? No, it's not new. That's your z-axis. That's the invisible 9. Your multiples of 7 coming out. Yeah, but they're all. But 5 and 4 are... are, are, are uh, multiples nine. of 9. But that's a different axis. And you don't get any... Um, Five, four, five, four. But you see, here's the trick, Charlie, and everybody, and it's not a trick. This is why it's so important. Now, into your center, right now, our vertical axis around it is your eight and one. They're the first numbers around the nine vertically. So you can see them vertically, because you can see the toroid skin vertically. It's not hard. Um, one in eight is the vertical axis around nine. Yes. Eight, one, yes. one, eight. So you can see the vertical axis of the toroid, okay, that it's 9, 8, 7, 6, uh, 5, 4. So you got 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, because the first number around 9, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 8, so 9, so 1 and 8 is your vertical axis. The reason that you, you don't, you can see them is because they're your vertical axis. And you can see the 5 and 4, okay, because they're your vertical axis, okay, which is 4, 8, 12, okay, 16, um, what is 4 times 5 is 20, 24, 6, okay, or multiples of 5, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Remember, it was a double coordinate system. The blue is all negative numbers, the red is all positive numbers. That gives you your diagonal, which is how time moves, how the universe moves, of, posi of positive negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. But it's based on a very sophisticated system, okay, of, um, of positive and negative really being two coordinate systems. One's your one and eights and five, and uh, one's your one, four, sevens being yellow, and your blacks is your two, eight, fives being black. Overlapped, Charlie, together. This is a double coordinate system, which is then how you get to the sides negative, positive, negative, positive, through the sides, negative, positive, okay? Um, and that's what these colors represent, okay? Okay, so, I still, yeah. go ahead. Have you ever done this and not put the nines in just to see what the pattern would look like? Because if they're really invisible, maybe you should make them invisible in the graph. Just to see what it would show it's you. It's more complicated so than that. Maybe it's telling you something. You know what I mean? <laughs> yes, I do know what you mean. And yes, it should be done. And everything should be done. Um, but actually, if you're going to omit the nines or make them invisible, actually, I'd spend a lot of time doing what you're saying. But I use it for modeling the energy in the planet. But the nines is like the spirit. And you take the spirit away from matter, you don't have matter. But, I'm but what I'm saying... Yeah. Like, but I do it in another sense. I, I leave in the red nines, I take out the blue nines, which are negative, and I show the negative graph, graph counter space. So all this really is valid. All these approaches, all these directions, doing all this stuff, is connected. Modeling. Okay, so what did I just do here? This is the coil. Okay. Now, the first strand, as it comes around, and comes around back again, this tile right here... Let's look at this tile. I'm going to circle the one, two, four, this one right here. See it? Okay. This tile does not occur again on the same axis. It's not easy. Okay, I want to just follow this line. Where is it? It's this one over here. Looks it. So all the way over here, which should be three over. Three of the binary triplets. So sure enough, one, Two, three. Do you see that? Okay. What that means is that I can't just keep on winding this wire like this. That means it has to go around in the star shape in spires before it comes around here, and so other windings have to fill in in between. That means there has to be a space in between this one and this one. And that's why this coil is wound in this shape. 